Hi everyone, welcome to Sunday Space, a video covering the latest news from the space industry. After Booster 7 was removed from the orbital launch mount, it is being kept at the cryo station inside the launch site. It doesn't look like the booster is in a rush to be rolled back to the production site. There is no temporary road delay notice just yet for the coming days. We could see more welding works on the OLM in the early morning hours. Is this why the booster was removed? Are they doing a final check on the hold down clamps before the orbital flight? It will be interesting to see what happens next. Sometimes, our speculation turns out right and sometimes, they are wrong. But we love to speculate things at Starbase. We are almost halfway through March but there is no update from Elon or SpaceX regarding the Starship orbital flight. After staying almost six months at the International Space Station, SpaceX Crew-5 returned to Earth yesterday. NASA's SpaceX Crew-5 began their return journey to Earth from the space station at 2.05 a.m. Eastern Time. And nearly after 19 hours, the Crew Dragon Endurance splashed down closer. off the coast of Florida at 9.02 p.m. Eastern Time. SpaceX Dragon Splashdown mains have been released. Copy Dragon, we concur with Splashdown and mains released. Dragon Endurance, on behalf of SpaceX, welcome home. This marked the end and successful completion of NASA's fifth commercial crew mission to the ISS. As one Dragon got down from space, another one is ready to go up again. NASA's SpaceX CRS-27 Cargo Resupply Services mission to the space station is set to launch on March 14 from Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center. The Cargo Dragon capsule with the Falcon 9 booster has now been rolled out to the pad ahead of launch on Tuesday. A mandatory static fire test is expected before the flight. Relativity Space couldn't quite prove yet that 3D printed rockets could be launched into space. The company's second attempt to launch its first test flight mission of the Terran 1 rocket was aborted a few seconds after engine ignition. An upper level wind violation and later, a range violation delayed the launch which reset the countdown clock a few times. Finally, all systems were go for launch. When those 3D printed Eon R engines ignited, it felt like it would lift off. But just a few seconds away from liftoff, the launch was aborted due to an issue with the stage separation automation sequence. The first launch is always hard. Relativity Space says it will come up with a new launch attempt date soon. Rocket Lab's Stronger Together mission was also scrubbed yesterday due to upper-level wind violations. On Friday, United Launch Alliance performed a tanking demonstration test on its Vulcan rocket first stage. CEO Tori Bruno said, the test went well and the next up is the tanking test of the second stage. Vulcan Centaur is another upcoming methane-powered rocket which is expected to fly on its maiden flight in May. Well, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one with more updates.